day, William. Oh my god, it's been days since I last saw you. But you are Father Christmas. Thank you so <laughs> much, honey. No, 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 I got some mails for you. Here's La Forza. Oh. oh. How about non mi avete fatto niente? This is super rare. Ooh, lost and found. Can I just zoom in a yeah, little to these? Yeah. yeah. Lost and found. Who oh. we are? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Wow, this has got like a karaoke version on it. A little bit of beat bomber. Honey, we've got to take this one by one. Oh, and finally, one of my favorites, Yoleni Fuego. <laughs> but listen, we. Can I do the Lost and Ah, yeah, you can totally. But look. Yeah. We have filmed some videos on the split results and other things, and they will be coming. They're just being edited, but we just wanted to know that we are still alive. So we're just going to have a quick chat, and we're going to basically just talk about the people on these CDs because they're lying on the floor. We need something to talk about. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's do that! Yeah, this is just a little vlog, a hello, a catch up to let you know there is more Eurovision content coming. We have just been so tired. It's been exhausting coming back. When I came back, I was shattered. I don't know if you remember. And you are superhuman. Oh, okay. I mean, there is that. You worked so hard. Jesus. It really, I was probably sleeping towards the end about three hours a night. I was writing for the New York Times for Billboard, running Wee Vlogs, doing the YouTube editing. We had the Wee Wee Jam. It was so much stuff. The Wee Wee Jam, honey. Oh my gosh, did some stuff for BBC Minute. This is where I work at the BBC. We had a little, um, a one minute, single subject minute on Eurovision. There was just so much going on. To the point, at one point, I was in a dumpster on the last day recording this bulletin for the BBC. I'm like, I was shaking, I was so tired. <laughs> so when I came home, I crashed so hard. So that's why the website we've been producing less content, just because you have to rebuild after all that. Re-energize. Re Restock. Yes. How are you feeling after it all? Well, you know, this particular year, I enjoyed it so much because Susanna Adams oh was part of the team. My I sister. absolutely fell in love with her. Sebastian. She's hilarious. Oh, she is. Is be you know what I think she's a little bit of a fraud because she keeps going oh I don't know anything about Eurovision and then she's like the cameraman for Salvador Sobral and she knows absolutely everything about it. <laughs> she's like yeah I know that you got out of the hospital on this yeah. day you know I'm so, like how's the heart how's the heart he was great actually Salvador I loved that interview mm. he people you know he's controversial because he speaks his mind but that's why I love him because he's so honest and real and what you see is what you get mm. there are, there's no agenda there is honesty, and he's actually a very kind person. People don't realize this, he's very kind and giving. He came up to us in the restaurant, um, well, I forget the name of the restaurant, we read this Italian yeah. restaurant. He's just so lovely, and people don't often see that because they just hear snippets online, but I just have to tell you, you guys, he's wonderful. I think part he's of them, he has no filter as well. You know, there, there is no media team. He just declines everything, and he reaches out to those he loves. He's lovely. He's such a great guy. I just, I can't wait to see what he does next, because he's had to carry, you know, winning Eurovision is a great honor, total honor, but it's also a bit of a burden, actually. He's had to deal with nonstop media, you know, while having a heart transplant. The is, timing was unfortunate. One of the most serious procedures mm. you can have. <laughs> that, and that is a big deal. And he managed to handle it all really well, I thought. Yeah, no, I, I, I have nothing but love for Nothing him. but respect. Uh, yeah. He's very handsome as well. Yeah, he's lovely. It's funny because... Without being him, excessively groomed, you know? Yeah, again, it's authentic. It, he's just real. And it's so funny because I didn't realize, bef clearly before the procedure and stuff, maybe his body was obviously weaker. And now to see him blossoming, you see how handsome he is. Oh, he's lovely. The quality of his skin. He's so, so lovely. So smooth, so matte. And another thing I like about him is the ambiguity, you know? Is he a sister of Dorothy? But Girl, he has a girlfriend <laughs> in France. What you talking about? His girlfriend is the Parisian Paris actress. She was on that show The Lost. I know, I know. He was telling us that he loves going to Paris because there's no fuss and people treat him yeah, badly. Which, that's not... Yeah, that's funny, isn't it? That's funny. In any case, we could do a whole series on how wonderful he is, but we move on. IQ! Let's talk oh, about Oh, my goodness. Actually, I feel so rude. You were going to say something about Sebastian and I cut you off. Sebastian. Yeah, yeah. no, no, but it was just about it, this year, I kind of connected with people that I've only known virtually. So, and Tranik Shakayan. Yeah. Um, you know, our Armenian correspondent was on ground and he was great. Lovely. I spent a lot of time. Proving you can work Eurovision from outside the press center. You don't have to be in those four walls to go to Eurovision, have a great time, and do great coverage. Because a lot of people get upset when they don't get a press pass. He didn't have a press pass and he was working it. 
he met all the stars. He got all of them. He went to special events. We sent him to uh, yeah. all sorts of he went to Alexander, Alexander Ryback, Ryback and Chris the Bell, um Ziz. So many things. Uh, Ryan and Shockness. I mean yeah. loads, loads. Like, and he's delivering every time. Yeah, and he had a great time as well. I just, yeah. you don't have to, you know what, being in the press center, it's wonderful, but it's also in many ways a prison. Like I didn't leave. And also the the content you generate can be quite samey. Whereas if you're outside the bubble, yeah. you can kind of almost engineer your own content. Yeah. yeah. It's just there's so many ways to experience Eurovision. And um, yeah, good on him. And, and we're just highlighting we bloggers you hadn't met. We're not gonna we're not trying to leave anybody out, leave anybody else. Y'all don't get upset. It's just pe new oh, people. Oh yeah, new there. people. I and mean, Sebastian Diaz. I, I completely forgot. Oh okay. and Tian Wyatt, who he Oh so my like, god! I've yeah. known this guy since 2011. He was my very first Eurovision friend, really. And with Etienne, he's not like officially a wee blogger, but he does a lot of stuff for us from France. And it was so nice. He did so much. He's so lovely. much on the ground. He's absolutely really lovely. Ben, you're a Oh, friend. my friend Ben from the New York Times, lovely. He's a big tennis correspondent. He's like their number. He's their big tennis correspondent, basically. And um, many of you will know if you follow tennis. Great. He oh did so god. much. So nice to see him. But I have to say, in house, though, we have lots of characters. To Sinan Sadula. I mean, the list, oh the, my this God. is turning into yeah, another video. Even, we yeah. shouldn't even go there because then we'll leave people out. But it's just nice to reconnect with people at Eurovision who you don't see all the time. Like Robin, Alexandru, Bernardo, Bogdan, Chris, Kristen, Yori, Luis, Kevin, Pore, Gron, Steiner, Mike, Jacinta, Christian, Jakob, and Yulia Haney. <laughs> In any case. Um, Lost and found. I found you. Yeah, the, I got, it was interesting. I felt like. Not. They weren't defeatist at, at all, but I felt like after rehearsals. All the hype about the studio cut kind of faded away because people were so upset about the stage, and I felt bad for them. You know what is? You know what I felt bad about? All the hype about the studio cut, yet their vocals was Amazing. identical to the studio cut. Yeah. But it goes to show Eurovision, you need more ingredients in the pot. You need you know? good production, and I think. I hope they just hire a massive stage producer next year to sort it out because they always have great studio cuts yeah. and then it's something about the transition to TV that doesn't work and I just I just feel really sad because this was such a great track and it's one of the ones I still listen to Boyan is so talented Boyan has so much charisma yeah. we all know Maria is beautiful and stunning and talented but people too often overlook Boyan yeah. there is some kind of charm there when he looks into the camera oh and, he's great he's lovely I'm a huge fan of Boyan but you know what I love about them? So the day they got eliminated, I met them in their hotel and they were like, oh, we've got ideas for the video shoot of our new single. We're going to shoot some scenes in Lisbon. They carried on working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make the sun while the sun... Make hay while the sun There sun. you go, honey. Make lemonade while there's lemons laying around. They get it. They just kept pushing. Really enjoyed them. Who else should we draw from this? Let's see. Oh, oh you are who you are. Yeah. Yeah, I love Jessica. I love Jessica so much. She has got fire, energy, passion, and at the end, the San Marino stage show actually looked really good. I thought the lighting was fantastic, and her red dress, it really fit. It exceeded my expectations. Uh, they don't I, have the biggest I budget. just love the way they committed to the message, despite the odds, despite the predictions, and despite not going through. Yeah. You know, you are who you are, do not be bullied, and do not feel deprived or undermined. No. Just do your own thing, and I think there's a really powerful message to draw from that. Yeah, what was your favorite moment of Eurovision this year? Like, what was your favorite moment? What was my favorite moment of Eurovision this Not, year? It doesn't have to be in the show, it could just be kind of in the press room, it doesn't... I have to say, Wee Wee Jam is very special oh, for me. Wee Wee Jam is very special, that and so I really fun. like... You know what I really like about it? When you reach out to some acts that didn't make the cut, and yet they still want to come and pay for I sell. Don't. This was one of my moments of Eurovision yeah. and it takes place in two parts. Her singing and us just reminding her, honey, you're part of the Eurovision family forever now. She was so emotional. She was so touched. And then the icing on the cake, Rui, Rui Andrade. Andrade. Her backing vocalist delivering an acoustic rendition of X My Heart. Her in the back on the balcony. Tears. Give him so much love. It was so beautiful. And you know what I also love about the Wee Wee Jam? Generally, acts would 
in, in most other shows, they perform and they leave. But Whoopi yeah. Jam is so unusual. They, they actually stay. They stay and hang and meet their fans and support the other acts and, oh my goodness, I, um, 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 Yeleni at the end. Oh. Uh, Girl was meant to sing two songs. She sang four. Madly, oh, honey. It was so good. So much patience, so much kindness. And you know what I love? People don't know this part of the story. Cyprus asked to come to the party before we opened invitations because they wanted to have that connection with their fans. They were that eager to meet their fans up close and personal. I'm not going to name names because sometimes other delegations, it's like, you know, all this back and forth, all this drama. With Cyprus, it wasn't a matter of waiting for them to respond. It was a matter of us responding to them. And that is so beautiful. And it shows how connected they are to Eurovision fans. I love them. I agree. I love them. But I That delegation has class. I'm sorry, we, I can't talk about this enough. Humble, so much humility. Never expected anything. As everyone else is being hype, you know, hyping them gonna win, they were so on the ground. She was still in the press room talking to every single person. Do you remember mm -hmm. she came to the courtyard? You talked to her in yeah, the courtyard. Yeah, yeah. Please, There's describe the moment, how she just... Oh, uh, then I'll go back to the wee wee jam because there's another really mm. important moment for me there. Um, it was great, literally, I came out to the courtyard um, because I heard that Elaine Ferrer was there. Actually, no, I, I spotted her when I was going to get a yogurt from Go Natural. <laughs> and I thought, oh gosh, she's really busy. I'm literally at the back of the queue. Yeah. There's no way I'm going to get an, um, an interview with her. And when I told you, you said, oh, but it's fine. You can just film her interacting with the fans for Instagram, which is what the plan was. Yeah. And then I was doing that, you know, selfie filming. <laughs> and guess who appears in the show? Hey, yeah, that me forever! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Cause I'm burning up and I ain't cooling down. Yeah, I got the fire. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck <laughs> Amazing. Now the video's on our YouTube channel, so please be sure to tune into that. And she was really kind, and you know, we had a little sing-along, and it was really good fun. Wee Wee Jam, kindness. France, Madame Monsieur. Oh my God! Blew me away. And then they came back with somebody they'd competed with at Destination Eurovision. No way. No way. Not no way. No, no way! way. <laughs> and they were the backup singers for, for her. her. I mean, that's just, apparently, Amelie knew No Way before she knew her husband. They've been friends for the longest time. They both ended up in this show in the same year. And I just love that connection, how the relationships and things precede and post-date Eurovision. It's not just kind of a one-off thing. Really lovely. One family all aboard, we are one. I love that. And the Wee Wee Jam seems to harness all those key moments, and that's what I love. Oh, well look, that is a quick catch-up. We're going to film a few more of these and space them out. We've got so much to talk oh, about. Too much. Should we just roll on with the next one? Let's, <laughs> Let's do it!